Is hydrogen safe? That is a question we as a hydrogen race team get asked a lot. In the previous episode, we discovered all the different applications of hydrogen. So now, we'll go into detail about how safe it is to use hydrogen. What do you think of when you hear the word hydrogen? A lot of people are associated with events in the past such as the Hindenburg or the Challenger shuttle. One of the most common misconceptions about hydrogen is that it's unsafe. And sure, hydrogen is explosive, but explosive, that means dangerous, right? True, but that doesn't mean it's unsafe to use. Indeed, the labels don't lie. Hydrogen gas is explosive, but there are a lot of factors that make hydrogen very safe to use in vehicles. In fact, hydrogen is even safer to use in vehicles than other fuels such as gasoline and diesel. Hydrogen has atomic number one and is therefore the lightest element in the periodic table. Hydrogen is 14 times lighter than air and will therefore disperse into the atmosphere very quickly, lowering the chance of combustion. The auto-ignition of hydrogen is around two times higher than that of gasoline or diesel. This means hydrogen will catch fire at a much higher temperature. According to hydrogen experts, the risk from hydrogen comes from trapping it in an enclosed space, and hydrogen is usually stored in highly pressurized tanks. In most commercial fuel cell vehicles, as well as in the most recent Forza race car, the hydrogen in the tanks is stored under 700 bars, meaning a pressure of 700 times the normal atmospheric pressure. However, a lot of gases are being used in the pressurized form, such as compressed natural gas. There are a lot of regulations regarding the handling of these gases. When these regulations are followed, using these gases is actually very safe. Of course, any car must be tested before they are commercially available, and safety testing is especially important in race cars. At Forza, we take safety very seriously. A few team members are specially trained about safety. Let's hear a bit from Nico, one of our most experienced safety officers. The safety of a hydrogen system is based on two key elements. The first one is conformity. We not only conform with our car to industrial, but also aerospace and automotive standards. One or two examples of this are, for example, our hydrogen storage vessels, more commonly known as tanks. The tanks we have in our car are directly from the same specifications as those used in normal production cars. That ensures that the same safety standard that applies to road cars is also guaranteed within our car and are one of some of the safest elements of our whole design. Another example might be our high pressure lines, where we conform to all the ISO standards as well as strict testing standards that is used in the industry and aerospace as well. That second key aspect for hydrogen safety is education. Education is incredibly important, not only for our team who design with it, but also for our engineers who manage it and may do maintenance, as well as track marshals and fire brigade who actually have to deal with the car if an emergency would ever happen. We're using that, we really design our car and make sure that whatever happens, we know that the hydrogen system will be safe. Nico already mentioned a little bit about the hydrogen tanks. These tanks are made of carbon fiber reinforced plastic, an extremely strong and light plastic that is commonly used in aerospace, automotive and civil engineering applications. These tanks have been tested repeatedly and thoroughly to ensure safe use. These tanks are actually so safe that when damaged in a fire or big crash, instead of exploding, the tank will rip apart a little, releasing the hydrogen from within, which can then quickly disperse into the air. As the hydrogen rises so quickly, it has additional speed by being pushed out of the ripped tank, which gives the hydrogen no time to actually combust, resulting in the car not catching fire, as would be the case with usual gasoline. Want to learn more about hydrogen technology? Follow us on our social media channels and stay tuned for more explainers in the future.